Welcome back everybody. Today we are covering a giant update that Hoopland is about to drop. Cover everything that you need to know about it and what you can expect for the 1.5.2 update. I do want to say before this video gets started, if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe. We just hit 15,000 subscribers. Much appreciated to you guys. Thank you so much and be sure to like the video if you enjoy as well. So the first feature we're going to get into moving down the list for the new 0.5 2 update is the simulation pace being added from commissioner mode over to franchise mode previously you could only scale pacing 0 through 5 and 0 through negative 5 in commissioner mode now you have the luxury of being able to choose a specific team and then being able to scale it so that way your scoring your assists your rebounds all stays the same but you can be more specific with your team however if you go to game setup in the commissioner mode you'll see a new slider now we have the ability to scale how quickly players can gain xp and along Inside the XP slider, there's now tweaks in the game to where younger players will gain XP faster and older players will gain it slower based on the way that the pacing slider was introduced in commissioner mode and eventually made its way over to franchise. I'm sure that quality will do something similar. It could potentially be moved to franchise, but if not, you can find it in the commissioner mode. Now, the next part of this update is actually extremely important. It's probably one of the most important parts of the update. It's not going to change the way the rating system is actually integrated, but every player now gets an additional 28 points. What does this mean for you? Players are going to end up performing better and players with worse overalls like two and a half or three are actually going to become viable, which is huge now that injuries are in the game because you're going to be using a lot more bench players as the season goes on. I'll use Luka Doncic as a perfect example. You can see what a max out five star would have looked like and now all of those potential you know blocks as far as scoring and, and assist that's what a new five star will look like so there's him before here's him after there is now no legend difficulty however there is a custom difficulty option to where you can adjust your difficulty to however you want to play the game but you can now adjust your difficulty in a franchise during the season maybe you're getting your ass kicked and you're like okay i i, I need to scale this back a little bit i thought the percentage shooting was what i wanted it's not rewarding me for hitting my my timing right okay you can adjust that maybe you're like how is the cpu blocking every shot i shoot i'm gonna put their cpu reaction time from great back down to normal now you can adjust it mid-season on the fly now we also have the ability to have different shooting speeds from 0 0.5 0 0.75 and now we have one which is extremely fast here is a side-by-side -side comparison of all three shooting speeds the difference between 0 0.5 and 0 0.75 is definitely significant and i will say this a lot in the video but it is just nice to have the flexibility and customization to where if you think it's a little too easy you have the ability to change it so those are the additions and tweaks as far as game difficulty is concerned there have been new additions additions to the custom sliders including steel success rate block success rate so now you have even more customization and there have been some tweaks to simulation and arcade as well now we can't get these crazy long dunks from you know the free throw line in simulation those are going to be relegated to arcade as well as successful block attempts are going to be scaled back slightly in simulation to make it a little bit more realistic as far as the roster editors are concerned we have a new addition to tendencies to where we can not only randomize tendencies with a click of a button we can also generate them back to default now the tendencies don't affect simulation stats yet but there is definitely going to be some tweaking as we move forward into a 1.6 update everything i've covered up until this point is mainly considered new features but now we're going to be covering season mode improvements for starters your inbox is going to become a lot more important it's not just going to be relegated to whether you signed a free agent or whether your scouting report is fully developed it's going to include injuries as far as when they happen or what the timeline looks like and then when a player actually fully recovers it's all going to be found in the inbox another huge huge addition that's been added to season mode is optimization for minutes and lineups. So we'll use the Knicks for example. Let's say we want OG Ananobi to play the small forward position and we want Josh Hart out of the lineup in exchange for Dante DiVincenzo. We make the adjustments manually and we click optimize lineup like we would before and it would take him back out of the starting lineup. Now all you have to do as opposed to going in and tediously clicking through the minutes is put who you want in the starting lineup. We'll put Dante DiVincenzo at the two. We click optimize minutes and with one click of a button, his minutes are adjusted accordingly. And something else that's been added to the game that's going to stop players from having all 24 minutes as you get further and further throughout seasons, players with multiple positions like forward center, forward, or guard are not just going to be relegated to getting minutes in the starting lineup at the position they're starting at. And this has a trickle-down effect to where now you won't see players averaging 24 minutes, which means their stats won't be skewed and they won't win awards for no reason. Nikola Vucevic will not be leading the league in assists, will also be receiving more coins for every single game. Now, in order to increase XP, 
as a whole for the shooting category, which always seem to be a little bit slower. It's not going to rely on shot makes. It's just going to rely on shot attempts. Auto generated rookies will also have tendencies and suits generated for them. There has been some scaling back, however, for these generational prospects in the auto generated rookies. You won't see as many five star and four and a half star prospects. And that is more realistic. Obviously, we've been pretty blessed with some really good draft classes lately with Wemby and Chet before. However, if you look at this year's draft, it's pretty consensus that there's not a top guy. You can make an argument for a few different players, but I don't think those players are on the same level as some of the other guys that have come into the league recently. Continuing on the franchise mode, player contracts are now only going to be 20% of your maximum cap. I set the cap limit in this franchise to $200 million, and at the most, I can offer Giannis Antetokounmpo $40 million. You will not be able to give anyone a contract beyond 20% of the max cap. With the new ratings adjustment, this actually plays in perfectly with the contracts. Previously, a three-star would ask for a lot more than what he was worth, but now a three-star is 28 attribute points higher, so he's asking for something that's a little bit more reasonable. And there's also been a couple tweaks to the assists and stealing stats in simulation as well. Well, and now your blocking must be at a five or higher in order to generate a chase down block animation, which I think should be relegated to the best rim protectors in the league. Coming into the home stretch, we're going to cover some gameplay improvements, which I noticed as soon as I started playing. Now you have the animation to be able to save the ball from out of bounds. You can see right here, Devin Booker jacks up a three and Trey Young swiftly jumps baseline and saves the ball. You can also see another one here as well with the Celtics Pacers having a little bit more realism. You see that all the time in the NBA, the effort play player speed has also been adjusted as I mentioned before and you can see a huge difference between slow medium and fast in transition players move a lot quicker the rebounding positioning mechanics and logic as a whole has been improved again I noticed this extremely early when I was playing the game because you know they're boxing me out pretty well it's hard to kind of work around some of the defenders they do a good job at positioning you see less players stepping out of bounds on dribble moves and hesitations uh, again I've seen this as well because you can't really take advantage of pushing the CPU really tight against the you know the out of bounds anymore which is a good thing and lastly as far as some of the award stuff is concerned you will not see nearly as many players on losing teams in the finals winning finals mvp and i'm not going to go through every single bug fix but you can see a laundry list of them and again i think this is a testament to quality games because the discord if you're not a part of it is so interactive there's so many awesome members who, and having a channel called bug reports where you can literally say hey my simulation did this hey my guy's stuck doing this you can see at the top my player is blocking my other player like that should not be happening but because of how responsive quality games is the bugs are reported a lot quicker and the game continues to improve so that is pretty much everything i wanted to cover in this update video i'm almost done tweaking my rosters for this new update again they're still a work in progress i'll have a link to those in the description as well as a link to my discord and i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching take it easy